Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look and review of the latest build of Windows 10 19H1 which is version 18.272 and this of course is the latest fast ring skip ahead build for Windows 10 19H1 the next version of Windows that will appear in uh, March of 2019. So what's new in here. Of course I made a separate video for the install problems because it's very unique. The install was kind of complicated. My computer froze. Restarted again. This time it went through and was okay. But it seems to be a complex uh, issue. For the um, Windows operating system itself, well it works well. I have no issues right now. I've got no problems. Seems fast. Seems to be running pretty good. So um, let's I uh, hope that it continues like that and hope that not too many of you had problems installing this latest build. What's new in here? First of all, they have a redesigned settings page for the sign-in options. The setting options were kind of complicated and a lot of people said it was just kind of difficult to understand uh, the signing options and how to actually use them. Now it's easier than ever to actually uh, sign in, use sign-in options and, and security like uh, Windows Hello and finger, Fingerprint and PIN and so on. So all of this is easier to understand in this update. And I did compare it to the uh, last update, which is the uh, Windows 10 um, April 18, 2018 update, um, October 2018 update, sorry, that I have. And uh, yeah, there is a major difference here. It's, it's, it is simpler to understand this settings page. Uh, in the settings option. If you are using SwiftKey on the uh, touch keyboard, of course they're working on making SwiftKey even better. So they um, expanded support for different languages including uh, French, uh, English for um, you know Canada, India, French for Canada, Belgium, for, uh, Switzerland, Portuguese for Portugal, German in Switzerland, and Spanish in the United States. So the SwiftKey keyboard will have more options there. If you're using a hardware keyboard, text suggestions are now supported. So basically uh, in the different languages that you can use, you'll have suggestions of what you might want to uh, actually uh, say if you're using a simply uh, using a uh, hardware keyboard. So uh, basically that's pretty uh, neat. Um, Indic phonetic keyboards are now available. Do you write in Indic language? All of that is available and all you have to do is go into the settings and time and language to add these option for uh, all of that. They've uh, improved the accessibility um, of, of narrator. Narrator now tells you when the caps lock is on so that means you will know that your caps lock P key is been pushed. It's very important because you know sometimes it makes a big difference. And if you write well, of course, we'll write in uh, uppercase. So you gotta. That's that's one of the things. Snip and sketch has a few improvements, including the uh, now the option to print, including print to PDF. That is uh, a lot of people have been saying, yeah, you know what, uh, this is you uh, the uh, option to um, actually um, print out. There's um, new options also of the place where you're actually going to um, take the screenshot and post the screenshot as the same color background. You, this latest, the latest version of Snip and Sketch will actually uh, have a new option to add a board to screen, screenshots giving them that little bit of extra uh, needed to stand out. Um, for sure. Refine the saving option including uh, now saving in JPEG and GIF file types or GIF depending on when you want to pronounce it. And um, they're improving the menus so the different setting menus are available are being improved. I don't have all the options that they're showing but um, I do have the latest snip and sketch so I'm not seeing everything but they're kind of tweaking that a little bit. Sticky Notes has been updated also. Um, so basically the latest version of Sticky Notes is now updated to 3.1 uh, from version 3.0 that was uh, the uh, version we had before. Uh, if you don't see it, you might need to go to your Microsoft Store 
and have it um, update from the store. And you'll see there's now a charcoal and dark theme option. And they've added several different options to uh, this latest version of the uh, Sticky Notes app. So uh, charcoal note, you'll also see that there's even darker full on dark mode in Sticky Notes that's available. So, uh, and the fact that Sticky Notes is syncing is also quite uh, interesting. They're saying that a lot of people are giving feedback on the uh, Sticky Note option. That's very, very uh, cool. Uh, and I gotta say, Sticky Note um, syncing is great. I mean, between machines, you can actually have your notes appear. It's very, very cool. So that's pretty much it. And uh, basically, uh, the um, that's that's what we have here in the latest uh, version for the Insider Preview. Like I said, I got no issues. Everything seems to work fine. So um, I guess um, it's okay for now. We, of course, have the install issue that's kind of weird. So uh, there's a lot of known issues. Of course, if you have uh, this version, that's one thing you got to know. It's part of having Insider Previews. And um, of course, there's uh, bug fixes that they've done since last time. One little thing, uh, WSL will not work on this build. If you require WSL to work, you can roll back to build 18.2.6.7. An image is available for this build also. You can actually download the ISO for 18.2.7.2. I'll post a separate video on the Insider channel giving you the links to that. So uh, check it out. They've actually done something that Maybe a lot of people have been asking for, you know, stop um, having, you know, images only when there's a slow ring build or things like that. Why not issue that uh, with builds? So 18.2.7.2 is available on the official Windows Insider download page. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and uh, why not share your own observations of this latest build of Windows 10?